The State Department is warning all Americans to leave Iraq immediately. And here at home, the NYPD has deployed additional resources to what it calls sensitive locations. CBS News' Alice Gaynor is here with the very latest. Stalis. Mary, the NYPD says there are no specific or credible threats to New York right now, but it's closely monitoring events. Iran has vowed harsh retaliation for the U.S. airstrike near Baghdad's airport that killed its top general. These images from the Iraqi government show the aftermath of a U.S. drone strike that killed top Iranian general Qasem Soleimani. The 62-year-old led a special forces unit of Iran's elite revolutionary guard. Seen as a terrorist in the U.S., he was respected in Iran and tried to reshape its influence in the region. The Pentagon said President Trump directed the attack. He sent out several tweets. General Qasem Soleimani has killed or badly wounded thousands of Americans over an extended period of time. And was plotting to kill many more, but got caught. He was directly and indirectly responsible for the death of millions of people, including the recent large number of protesters killed in Iran itself. The Department of Defense said Soleimani was actively developing plans to attack American diplomats and service members in Iraq and throughout the region. The Pentagon claimed Soleimani approved this week's violent protests at the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad, which prompted the U.S. military to deploy hundreds of troops to the Middle East. Defense Secretary Mark Esper said there are indications militias loyal to Iran are planning further attacks. Do I think they may do something? Yes, and they will likely regret it. Global powers are reacting, China urging calm, but France warns the killing has made the world a more dangerous place. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo shrugged off the criticism. The world's a much safer place today. Ranking member of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, New Jersey Senator Bob Menendez, says senior congressional leadership was not consulted before the attack. Uh, the administration seems to think it has broad authority. Uh, and if they can prove through the intelligence that this was an imminent uh, threat against uh, U.S. interests and personnel uh, and that it was defensive in nature, then maybe it has the authority to do that. Iran's Supreme leader took to Twitter vowing severe revenge. And Iraq's prime minister says the assassinations are a massive breach of sovereignty and the security agreement with the United States now needs reevaluation. American forces and allies in the region are preparing for possible retaliation and are on high alert. Experts say there's also the potential for cyber attacks on our banks. Mary? Alice Gaynor, Alice, thank you.